educators. Today we're going to start a new unit telling time and we're going to focus on the hours and the minutes. But I, before we start I want us to think of the phrase time, time flies when you're having fun. What does this actually mean? Well it means time seems to go faster when we are not paying attention um, to, when we're not paying attention to time or doing something fun rather than when we are bored or waiting for the time to pass. So I thought it'd be fun today for you to use a stopwatch or use your phone to t put the timer on for one minute and hop for one minute and see how long a minute is while you're hopping. And then I want you to maybe use your timer and run around the house, get your exercise in, and do that for one minute and see how long a minute is to run around your house. And then last, I want you just to sit still. You can go into your meditation pose if you want and not to talk for one full minute. And you'll see your perception of one minute might be different based on these three different activities. So that might be um, a fun thing for you to do today and challenge yourself to see how long a minute is. And from this point forward, really pay attention how long is one hour. If you watch a show maybe or a movie, you can really see how long one hour could be. Okay. Um, I also, um, where the teachers will have this on your Blog. It's an analog and digital clock. So I just want to go over what that means. This is a digital clock. So a lot of us have our watches that are digital or maybe you have an alarm clock that is digital. And this is our analog clock, which we had in our classroom. So the short hand is the hour hand and the long hand is the minute hand. And then we have that ticking seconds hand that would go around. So when people say clockwise, what they mean is this direction, because this is the direction that all three hands go. So that is clockwise. So today you can go to this website that we provided for you, and it gives you the time, which right now it is, it's 8.03 from what I'm recording, but you can change the time up and just change it up to see how you can make the different times. So it's just a fun way, an interactive way that you can use this clock um, at home. So have fun with this digital piece and test it out and see if you can see how the hour hand moves with the minute hand and so forth. Okay, so let's do some review. All right, here we're just gonna look at the hour time, just look at a few um, examples. So the sh short hand, the hour hand is pointing to the one and the minute hand is on the 12. So whenever we have that we say o'clock. So this is one o'clock. The short hand, the hour hand is on the six. The minute hand is on the 12. So it's six o'clock. Okay here the short hand, the hour hand is on the nine. The minute hand, hand is on the 12. This is nine o'clock. Let's see if you can do the next one. What time is this showing? Yes, it's three o'clock. Now when we look at this, we could say this in so many different ways. The short hand is on the 12. The long hand, the minute hand is also on the 12. So this is 12 o'clock. Someone might say noon or midnight. It depends on the time of the day. So this is now when we have to look at p.m. versus a.m. Noon is usually around lunchtime, which is p.m. in the afternoon, the start of the afternoon. Midnight is the start of the morning hours. So even though we're sleeping from 12 a.m., 1 a.m., 2 a.m., or I hope you are, um, that is the start of the morning hours. So we will look closely at p.m. and a.m. while we're telling time. Okay, so now let's look at this when we have... Um, we don't have it just at nine o'clock to the hour. We're gonna look at to the minute. Okay, so when I'm looking here, and I'm gonna use my pen to help you with this. Okay. Um, the shorthand, the hour hand, is between the nine and the 10. So because it didn't go past the 10, we know it, we're at the nine o'clock hour. So you're gonna start at 12 for zero and then jump. So this is five, 10, 15, 20. Okay, so when we get to 20, 21, 22, 23. So our time is 923. Another way we can say that is 23 minutes past nine. 
Okay, let's look at another one together. All right, here again, we're not looking just at the hour, we're looking at the minutes too. So let me grab my pen. All right, so the shorthand, the hour hand, is between the 11 and 12. Because it didn't go past the 12 yet, it's at the 11. It's the 11th hour. Let's count. Five, six, seven, eight. So this is 11 08 and this is how we would write our time now if you wanted to write it in words you can also say eight minutes past 11 because it's the 11th hour okay let's look at the next one now this one we're going to look at it in a different way but let's first look at the hour notice the hour hand is moving towards the nine okay because we're getting closer to the ninth hour but right now this is the eighth hour Let's count. We could count to five, right? But we know halfway, 30 minutes, right? Right here, this is 30 minutes because we're halfway and we know 60 minutes goes to the next hour. So I could count out from 30 and then 35, 36. So my time is 836. If you need to count from the beginning, you can do that, but you should know that this is 30, so you could just count onward. Now, another way to look at this 836, since we passed the halfway mark, some people then say, well, how many more minutes to the ninth hour? So I'm going to go backwards. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, so you might hear someone say, well, it's 24 minutes to nine because that's the next hour. So usually people will do that to the next hour if you hit past the halfway point. Let's try a few others. Okay, so here again, we have our hour. Okay, here's the two and three, the shorthand, the hour is between the two and three, but we didn't make it to the three o'clock hour, right? Until it hits past the 12. So we know, again, this is 30, so 35, 40. So I know that this is 240. Now let's look at the next slide and see if someone wanted to know how many more minutes to the next hour. Okay, if we know it's 240, now let's try to count backwards. 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay, we have 20 more minutes to the next hour, which would be 20 minutes to 3, because 3 o'clock would be our next hour. Good job. So let's look more closely at this. In a circle, all right, I made it with a paper plate. I wanted to show, here's our 12 o'clock, which is the 60 minutes, right, or the two zeros, which is o'clock, and we're jumping 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. When we go from here to the 30, we're halfway of the circle, but here's a quarter, 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 quarter. Okay, the circle, just like the clock, is broken up into quarters. So we can refer to this point, a quarter. Now two quarters is a half, we have another quarter and another quarter. So I want you to keep this in mind when you take a circle and put it into fractional parts. And let's see what I mean by that when we do this. So let's look at here. We know the hour, the small hand, is between the 5 and the 6. So it's the fifth hour, and we can say 515. We also can say 15 minutes past 5. You might even hear a quarter past five because you've reached see that there's one quarter it's a quarter past five because when you look at the circle it's one quarter let's look at another one here we know the hour is five because it's between the five and the six so it's 5 30 some people may say 30 minutes past five or half past five because again if you put in the circle, if we draw a line down the middle, you went halfway around the circle, which we could see here. Let's look at a different way. Here, okay, we notice the hour is getting closer to the six, but we're not at the sixth hour yet. We're still at 545 or 
40 minute, 45 minutes past 5, or 15 minutes to 6. Let's count 5, 10, 15, right? We have 15 minutes to 6 o'clock. Or someone might say a quarter to 6. Because if you look here at the 9 to the 12, we have another quarter to go to the next hour. So a quarter to 6 is another way we can say 545. So look at all these different ways that you can say that. Today you will do two workbook pages. All you need is your line to connect the clock with the actual times that are listed here. And here, what time is it? You're going to write the time here with the numbers and then a different way that you can say it. There could be more than one answer. All right, so think about our lesson today, about half, a quarter, or the minutes. So on the top line, you're going to write the numbers. On the bottom line, you will write the words. Also, we have a fun game for you. If you don't get to it today, you can get to it this week. But it's called Time Flies, and it's back to that phrase, time flies when you're having fun. You will need a dice. You will have a game piece. You can grab either from a different game, like Monopoly, or just coins, or a paperclip, anything to have a game piece. But you do need two people to play with. And you're going to read the time on the clock, and if you get a fly, you lose a turn. And the first person to reach to the end wins. So here is your game board. So you're going to start here. So for example, and the time is only focusing on the hour and the half hour. So if I was to roll the die and get one, I would start here and I would say one o'clock. And then the next person would go, if they roll a three, so one, two, three, they will lose a turn and then the next person goes. So you and your partner need to make sure that you're reading the clock correctly and you're going to follow the path all the way to the end. So you do need to print this out in order to play the board game. So we'll have another board game um, tomorrow for you, but this can be kept for this whole week. But enjoy and have fun, fun and it just practice your analog clock reading to tell time. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you have fun today. We, um, it's important that you do look at the different analog clocks rather than just the digital and really understand what the clock is reading. Good luck today and have fun.